Join thousands of content economy professionals spanning broadcast, media, and entertainment right here at NAB Show New York. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is McCron of Wohler. Hello. Hello. So tell me, where does Wohler technology fit in right now in the media and broadcasting market? So we are basically, uh, we've been around for about 40 years and our predominant focus has been in the monitoring space. Uh, we've evolved with the industry uh, in terms of the signals that, that need to be monitored and also use cases for monitoring. And so that's been our core area uh, of focus. Very good. And so what trends are you noticing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting world right now? Uh, we're, you know, I think everybody's aware that there's a lot of uh, um, sort of transition towards IP signaling. And so there's 2110, there's Dante, there's Ravenna, there's AES 67. One uh, new sort of uh, relatively new thing that we're seeing is we're starting to see the introduction of NDI into the broadcast industry also. Um, and, you know, because we sort of uh, are focused on monitoring and follow the industry in terms of where it is headed, we now have a, an NDI monitor in, as part of our product range also. So overall what we are seeing is there is this transition towards IP in general. Uh, for premium signaling, people are using 2110, uh, but for ancillary workflows, people are using things like NDI. And so that's kind of one of the trends that we are observing going forward. And so you have a couple new things behind me. What are you currently showcasing here at NAB New York? Right. So we have a, we, we, we have, there are three products that I would sort of draw our customers' attention to. Uh, one is a new mix product. Uh, we used to have a legacy product called the IM Mix uh, that, that has been end of life, and it's been replaced by a new mix product which has got tactile knobs. Uh, which are very valuable when you have, uh, you know, trucking applications. When, you, when you're looking to monitor audio in truck environments, uh, where you want a monitor, monitor that you can do, you can do quick spot checks with. Uh, and so the mix is designed for that. It's an eight-channel unit that can operate either in mo uh, mono clusters or stereo clusters. So you can monitor either eight or sixteen channels at a time. Uh, that's a new product that we've launched uh, th this year. Uh, and you know, I, I know that it's of interest to a lot of customers. Uh, you know, we already have the touch interface, uh, but now we are complementing the touch with these tactile knobs. So that's one product. The other uh, major product that we've sort of, you know, we've been awarded, uh, uh, you know, best of show for uh, in the past is is Maverick this year. Uh, something that we launched this year. Maverick is uh, essentially remote monitoring. Maverick is offered as a service running in the cloud. Uh, You've got probes that could be placed anywhere in the world that feed into the cloud. The system can be monitored using a simple web browser. Uh, this is also complemented with a mobile app. So you could use a mobile app to, to monitor remotely also. Uh, probes that feed into Maverick can be configured to fire alerts. And so you can, you can sort of move in the direction of monitoring by exception. Uh, and you know, the, given the fact that it runs in the cloud as a service and has remote reach, you could have operators on the road, they could be at home. Uh, you, you, you know, this is designed to support remote production flows. Uh, to complement Maverick, we uh, this year we also launched an open gear card that is essentially a monitor on a card. So that's kind of the third new thing that we did this year, uh, which, which is part of the Maverick ecosystem. Uh, that allows you to sort of monitor unmanned remote locations. You might have a remote TV station or, uh, you know, or, or even, you know, a, a, a live uh, event going on with, with, with one of those cards sitting in the truck so that, you know, you can monitor at HQ what's happening on the truck or, in fact, you could even have a probe sitting at HQ uh, allowing the truck manager to look at what's being received at HQ. So you know there are interesting use cases built around Maverick, and so so those are the three key uh, launches this time. We've got the mix uh, with the tactile knobs, we've got Maverick, and we've got the open gear card to complement Maverick. Very good, all, all exciting things. And can you tell me a little bit more about your latest developments or what we might expect from the company in the near future? Yes. Yeah, so where we've with with the launch of Maverick, we sort of got our foot in the door in the sense that. We've, we've drawn the custo our customers' attention to the fact that, hey, you can do remote monitoring, but we clearly see that as evolving over time. Uh, you know, there's a lot of customer input, there are a lot of unsolved problems, and what we've found very often whenever we do product launches is when our customers see something, 
they invariably come back and say, hey, how about this? How about that? You know, could you solve this problem for us? So there is a whole bunch of unsolved problems that we expect the customers to bring to us now, and we intend to work closely with them to solve those. Very good. Well, it's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Indeed, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.